Good morning, I'm Lula Meazele, bringing you a world news update. Spanish riot police clashed violently at a demonstration near the parliament in Madrid. Thousands rallied against the government's tough austerity measures. 1,300 police officers descended on the rally. Some civilians were struck with batons and hauled into vans when they tried to break down metal barriers protecting the parliament building. U.S. President Barack Obama has warned Iran the U.S. will do whatever it takes to prevent them getting nuclear weapons. Mr. Obama was speaking at the United Nations General Assembly. He said there's still time for diplomacy with Iran, but that time is limited. China has put its first aircraft carrier into service. The move follows growing tensions over territorial disputes around islands in the East China Sea. The Chinese Prime Minister Wen Jiabao says the launch of the ship is of deep significance. And California has legalized the use of a driverless car. Google's been working on a self-driving technology and lobbying for new laws to allow them to be used. Their fleet of a dozen cars has already driven 500,000 kilometers without an accident. Autonomous cars could be sold commercially within the next decade. And in sport, Manchester City has missed out on a shot for the League Cup. Aston Villa clinched a 4-2 third round win, while Chelsea welcomed back controversial captain John Terry with a 6-0 thrashing of Wolves. And having a look at the weather around the nation, a possible shower in Melbourne with a top of 23, Canberra mostly sunny and 22, to Western Australia, Perth's expecting showers and a maximum of 18. And it's sunny in Darwin with a top of 35. More news in half an hour.